So guys, 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 guys. After after this will be a. You know what it is. You already know, Johnny. A multi battle. No. Oh. An FFA. Yes. Yay! I know stuff. Yay! You are back. What's with and and what? Yeah. Yep. Yep. Joax. Um. Yep, you know, you know. I know you were here yesterday for my shiny hunting, but, um, you know, I usually do Battle of Veers, you know, man? That's what I do. We have a All lot right. of people. Alright, so who won this? Was it... I, I closed it out, I can't... Alright, there it is. Who won what? This oh. drop hole. Um, results... Uh, announcer voice. Okay. All right. Well, this is the second Kieran White we've seen. Uh, Kieran Black. I know. Can Can they like please stop with this? It's like, your favorite Pokemon, though. But I don't want to be paralyzed. <laughs> watch them. Watch them rely on para hacks on the last Pokemon with that out, and s that would just be bad. That would be. Hey, you never know, maybe Sylveon can get revenge. Mm -hmm. And we do see the slow bro coming out right immediately. And the opponent being a Heatran. Oh my god. Mikey, you could not have let off any better than you just did. Heatran levitating, but that's not gonna stop water type moves now, is it? I don't know. Since Sharks was a battle, yes, since he was... Should I count him as a new viewer or an old viewer since he was here yesterday? I think that counting him as a new viewer would be fair. Okay. Because he was only here for the um, shiny hunting. He didn't know that you did regular battles as well. That's true. And we do see the Scald coming off instantly killing that Heatran. Not before Heatran gets to set up those rocks, though. You never know. The crit might have mattered, but hey. Um, if you're gonna be using Porygon Z, I suggest like leftovers or life orb. Depending on nature. And we do see the Klefki out, and we also so it's Klefki versus NG 2.0. You know what that you know what NG 2.0 stands for? Kappa. Even no guard? No. Oh. If you guys been checking out if you guys check out my other channel, my gaming channel, all the way at the bottom. Oh yeah, I'm not subscribed to that yet. I'll go sub to it after this battle. We do see the Calm Line coming up, the Klefki getting a light screen up though. That means it's any move that Slow Bro does. What? What? Uh, um. Slow Bro versus Mega Slow Bro, what's gonna happen? We do see that coming off, it's a crit, the crit does matter, the burn comes off. Wow. Mikey, you could not have gotten a better turn than the one you just got. I know, it's amazing. Oh, we do see a mega Slowbro battle, but Mikey Slowbro being in the lead, despite the fact that the Slowbro is behind a light screen. We do see the Shy Shot coming off. It may not deal as much damage, though, because it is resisted. Yeah, it does not deal much. Calm Mind comes up. We do see two Calm Minding Mega Slowbros. We might be seeing the same EV spread and the same uh, stats as well. You never know. Slowbro being hurt by that burn. Slowbro's gonna have to slack off in the opponent's side of the field. NG getting a free Calm Mind, most likely. I'm actually really curious about if NG actually outspeeds or if he's just winning speed ties after speed tie. Slack off does come off against the opponent's Slowbro. That's going to heal a lot of damage, but. That free Calm Mind is going to mean a lot later on in this battle. Light Screen having about a turn or two left before it wears off. Unless, of course, they're Light Clay, but hey, who runs Light Clay, uh, Klefki? Scald going off onto Slowbro, not doing anything at all. Calm Mind going off onto Slowbro. We're just seeing a Calm Mind battle. Whoever gets six Calm Minds up first wins. 
Folks, if you guys don't want to waste your life, I suggest just going, making some popcorn, getting a, go getting a two liter, and coming back in this battle will probably still be going. The slow bro battle, that is. It's never gonna end. <laughs> we do see the Columbine coming up again. Oh my god, and Slackoff going off on the opponent's side, healing that uh, slow bro up to almost max HP. It's going to get take the burn damage as well. These free call mines for Mikey Slowbro is going to mean a lot after this light screen wears off. This is indeed light clay, uh, Klefki, because this the the light screen should have gone away by now. Call mine going off onto Slowbro. Uh, I might go make some popcorn. <laughs> popcorn, popcorn. Uh, what's my call? What's my call? Pops. Uh, what what's a what's a What's a popcorn name uh, for sponsors? What's a microwave popcorn thing that um, I haven't had popcorn in a while? <laughs> what's, a, what's a popcorn brand? Jolly Times will be sponsoring next week. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Let's just go with that. I, I don't know. And now a word from our sponsors. In the middle of the battle. Tune in next week to see if NG 2.0 can pick up a kill on its evil twin, Slowbro. Because it'll probably still be going next week. <laughs> and the slack off coming. <laughs> Mikey! <laughs> Do I have to narrate all the repeat turns? Yes! <laughs> Unless right, you never... unless you wanna say something say say some uh something that the viewers is uh you know saying. Oh my god guys, go get popcorn. <laughs> You're not gonna miss much. And NG 2.0 does not get burned. It's getting all the hacks while the opponent's not getting any at all. Slowbro getting knocked down on the opponent's side of the field. Scald coming off. Not gonna do much. Actually, only does about a sixteenth of the HP the opponent had. Oh my god. <laughs> Mikey. Hi. You should start running Dark Pulse. I should. Thank you for the... Follow Milos410. I think that's his name. Um, I will go check, even though I suck more at reading off uh, names than you do. Um, Milo410, yeah. Uh, my Twitch hasn't, re uh, my viewer list hasn't refreshed. So, once it does all, once I say something. The cold mine coming off. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, guys, you guys should go make some popcorn. This will probably go until the end of the stream. Uh, uh. Unless, of course, somebody wants to lose their position and switch out, re removing all those plus six call mines. <laughs> Scald going off, still not getting a burn. <laughs> and this is why people don't commentate, because, okay, sweet, so long as he doesn't- No! <laughs> <laughs> and we go- <laughs> Mikey, I blame you. I don't know why, and I don't know how, but I blame you. <laughs> And so we do see the Slowbro healing off all that damage that NG 2.0 went to get. That's not doing anything. No, we're not uploading this to YouTube. <laughs> there is a limit to how long videos can be. Not really. Not in my position. Right now, mine is about two hours. Two to three hours. It's a great thing this has an hour long limit. <laughs> <laughs> oh 
god. <laughs> the good side is Mikey's able <laughs> to heal off all this damage because he hasn't used slack off as much. Whereas the opponent's forced to use slack off and is almost out of slack offs. This shell armor proving to be a pain in the butt. There would have been crits by now. I promise you that. There would have been crits by now. And we do see both sides going for side shocks now. <laughs> Mikey, you should really start using Dark Pulse on this thing. <laughs> I know. You could have gotten flinch hacks. Apparently, Mikey does outspeed. Really curious. I don't know what your EV spread is. Uh, I'll check right now. You're not zero uh, speed. You're not zero speed in IVs, are you? Mm. I have no idea. Slow bro getting burnt, but it's just gonna heal <laughs> off with suck. <cycle. laughs> <laughs> Kids, this is why you do not use tanky Pokemon. Your battles will last until the day the universe blows up. <laughs> this is the trolliest battle ever. <laughs> crit, crit, crit. Break the sh break through the shell armor ability and just crit. <laughs> and there is no crit, but the slack off desk. <laughs> <laughs> Tanisha, this is all your fault. <laughs> I'm surprised we still have 17 viewers in here. <laughs> Do we have any popcorn? I hope so. Can you go put some in the microwave for me? Because this battle is going to last for about another 45 minutes. <laughs> Either or. <laughs> I don't. Go with the one that's butteriest. <laughs> Sweet. Don't give me the healthy kind. <laughs> don't. Give me the butter one. <laughs> yes, and we see the slow bro dropping this turn. Yes, never mind, you don't need to. <laughs> 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 You still can if you want to. I'd, I'd be more than happy that you can still eat it. I'll do the dishes later. Oh my god, Mikey. Talon Flame's gonna kill Slowbro now. Mikey, if you survive a Brave Bird, I swear to god, if you slack off and you survive this Brave Bird, I will hunt you down and I will hug you. Right, immediately before I stab you. Okay, good. <laughs> we do see the U-turn on the on the talent flame. Brave bird, re talent flame returning instead of choosing the brave bird. Oh God! Can we get that hashtag poker hype now that the battle's friggin' oh? Oh my friggin'! <laughs> we do see a Kiram bull. White? Black. Kieran Black coming out. I don't like its shiny form. And we do see Protect coming out. I'm pretty sure Kieran Black has a fire type move. I don't know what Mikey is thinking. Let us see. It's all Tenny's fault. <laughs> and. Talonflame comes out. Leech Seed goes off on Talonflame. What will we be seeing Protect do now? Nobody knows. At all. Nope. No friggin' idea. None. Zilch. Nada. None. Nope. None. Nada. Nada. Nothing. Nope. 
Oh, we see Game Boy Luke coming out, and we will be seeing a... Flare Blitz! Great prediction on Mikey's part. It's not going to deal any damage. Never mind, it knocks out about half of its HP. And just enough to crack off the Citrus Berry. Game Boy Luke going back up to almost a three-fourths of its HP. We'll then be seeing the Leech Seed coming out, putting in some major work right here. What will we be seeing Game Boy Luke do now? <laughs> I feel like I'm that guy from the freaking Nintendo 64 game. I wonder who. And we see Protect happen, but no Protect happens. <laughs> the, the, the announcer guy from the N64 game. Oh, in Pokemon Stadium, too. Yeah. Yeah, that guy. Okay. Oh my god. Klefki avoids the Will-O-Wisp, but have been very clutch. I feel as though all of Mikey's opponent's team is just freaking walls. Will-O-Wisp does land. Deals some damage. Bigarito, if this battle ever ends, you probably might get the chance to. <laughs> But both Pokemon are using a very defensive. Sh both po both players are using a very defensive strategy. So you're probably gonna have to wait till next year. Thank you for the popcorn. <laughs> I legit have popcorn right now. From the sponsor, Jolly Times. You should buy their popcorn right now. Come back. And maybe, just maybe, this battle will have one more knocked out Pokemon. Hydro Pump does go off on the Gliscor, does a lot of damage, but doesn't pick up the kill thanks to that light screen. Ah, uh, light screen. It's all, all Tanisha's fault. <laughs> and if you don't want to blame Tanisha, then get that hashtag reader, blame reader going on inside the chat. Or the hashtag blame Tanisha. Are you on Team Reader or Team Tanisha? And the Poison Heal heals up the Gliscor. Gliscor clearly not trained in HP because that healed way too much to be trained in HP. Wait, no. It would be trained in HP because it healed a lot. Hydro Pump landing on that substitute, popping it off immediately. Continuing to go for substitute would just be a waste of a Gliscor. <laughs> you did nothing, but you did everything. I uh, this freak. Gliscor choosing to stall out the Rotom's PP. Wait. Phrasing. <laughs> reader logs in immediately after I say hashtag blame reader. <laughs> well, into Skype. I'm not sure if he's in the. Uh. Mike. Yeah. Upload this video to your thing. I just want you to know that. Don't, I don't... upload it or upload it. You can, but I will not watch it again. <laughs> I mean, you've uploaded like 20 minute videos before, but. At least then there were Pokemon that were knocked out. <laughs> Earthquake goes off on this Felicity. Felicity eats it up and then goes for a coal mine. Did it eat it up? I didn't see how much HP he lost. Like about 30. Oh, 70. Alright, yeah. Felicity eats it up. Gliscor is going to want to switch out in his position. Or not. I mean, you never know. They might stay in. They might not. Personally, I wouldn't stay in. Oh, Gliscor goes for the Toxic Stall strat. Not really going to make a difference, though. Because if Mikey Hyper voiced right here... Never mind. I got a plan. You don't understand. I have a plan.
Don't get me wrong, I know Felicity is a very great wall, but it's poisoned now. Wait, what? Felicity is poisoned. No, not that, but... They Look. switched out? Because Klefki can take... Not... Never mind. Klefki can't take. So how much do viewers do we have at the moment? Uh, I don't know. How about you? I think look? I think I think we're actually keeping viewers. I despite, know. Despite this, I think this is just so entertaining to them. Um, we have twenty-one viewers. I think that's counting us, though. So, but even then, it's a lot of viewers. This is going to be able to pick up it up at the kill on Felicity, however, it's going to deal a lot of return damage onto Talonflame. What are we going to be seeing Mikey bring out? I think he's personally going to bring out the Rotom if it's still alive. Get a everybody get the hashtag blame reader going on inside the chat, because this is a very long battle. Reader's here, by the way. And now I can sell. <laughs> Just because I did that blast out. <laughs> We are seeing Game Boy Luke going to be putting some expert play in. If it goes to the right move, it will be able to take out everything. And we do see the Kirim coming in. Never mind, it's going to be dealing some moderate damage to Kirim, but not going to be up the kill on it. Reader just now heard me say, get that hashtag blame Reader going on inside the chat. So he is not the happiest camper at the moment. <laughs> Surprisingly, this is probably the longest battle we have ever seen on Mikey's channel. And I don't know. Remember that Reggie still thing? Oh my god, don't remind me. He switched out with plus three curses. Kieran being able to pick up the kill on Rotom. What are we going to be seeing Mikey bring out now? If Mikey uploads this, Mikey will upload this. I suggest don't because it's so friggin' long and I'm not watching it. I have blamed Tinny and I have blamed Reader. Next on my list is Sonic. We are seeing the outrage go on to the Ferrothorn. Ferrothorn gonna be able to eat this up and it will be taking the Iron Barb's damage. And the Gyro Ball will go off onto it, and it will pick up the kill onto Kirum. Oh my freaking god. At least it's almost over. It's almost over. End game revives. Fuck! <laughs> what will Protect do? I don't care who wins, and I don't care who loses. Just please promise me this will end eventually. Death does come out. You know, if this gets down to Glyscore versus Glyscore, it's literally going to have to time out. I hope everybody understands this. This can eventually turn into Glyscore versus Glyscore. And if I remember correctly, both are Toxic Stall. Mikey, why did you why did you sacrifice that? Cause I need my I need my um you know. Don't worry. He's gonna Tal die also. Talonflame and Death have both died. What are we going to be seeing bringing in now? Glyscore is out in the field, and what are we seeing Mikey bring it? Mikey brings in the Metagross! Metagross is so gross to see in this position. Especially if it's carrying that Ice Punch most Metagrosses just love to carry.
Hopefully Mikey's Metagross can outspeed this Gliscor. I think I made a wrong move, to be honest. Hey, if you outspeed the Gliscor, the Gliscor is pretty much never mind. It, you won't kill. I can predict the next three turns, and I will predict how they will happen. Metagross will attack, Gliscor will Earthquake, killing the Metagross. Then next in will come Ferrothorn. Earthquake will happen, Ferrothorn will get hurt, if not KO'd. Oh, and I did not expect Metagross to live that. Metagross having two turns to bring this back. Gliscor goes for Protect to get a little more damage healed. Kieran had a pizza delivered in the time that this battle has been going. Yep. I know. Meteor Mash does go off on a Gliscor. Will it pick up the kill? I don't think so. Oh, stab! It does not pick up the kill, even with a crit. Hashtag Blame Reader. Gliscor being the last Pokemon on Mikey's opponent's side of the field, on Mikey's opponent's field, and the Ferrothorn being the last Pokemon on Mikey's field, the Power Whip will have to land. It will take two Earthquakes to kill uh, Protect if I'm thinking of damage calcs right. The good news is, immediately after this, we'll be doing an FFA. And, um, are we doing the random selection, or are we doing regular selection? Uh, random. Alright. And we will see the Gliscor drop. Thank freaking god! Okay. I don't know why he used, uh, Substitute. I, I, don't, I don't know why he used Substitute either. 